Yeah, man. Show us your tits. We're the Jonas Brothers. Welcome to the Lava Slug Podcast <laughs> with your host, Michael Kidd and Kale sh 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 Tell them. Tell them about it. I'm telling them right now. Yeah, dude. It's your job. This is um, this is number 20. Welcome back, motherfuckers. 20th podcast. So yeah, we're here. We're, we're here. here. Get over it. Yeah, get fucking... Wait, what? Hey. Is that what I said? Um... You heard what I said when I said what you heard. Okay. Think about those words. What in the fuck do you think of this fucking aquarium we got? Beautiful, real, fake fish. Real, fake aquariums. And real, fake honeys. Yeah. Couple bevies with the boys on a quiet Friday afternoon. afternoon. Uh, What do we want to talk about today, Kale? Let's talk about how uh, Avatar, the... Uh, Last Airbender? No. Oh. The blue cocksuckers. Um, the blue boys. Oh, the, how the second one's the exact same movie, except yeah. in the water? And it's it's literally just Pocahontas in outer space. And, uh, dude, if you're it's the fucking leader of your tribe and you just bail, yeah. that's not fucking honorable. You're yeah, supposed you're to stay and fight. But it's like, ooh, just welcome you back in, in on the water tribe. And now you're gonna endanger these people. That's yeah. why you left your tribe. Yeah, you, you were, were you were afraid you were gonna endanger you them. You were in the Earth Kingdom. So then you, you move over. You go over there to endanger them. Uh huh. Exactly. They had no idea that this war was even happening. Yeah, from the Fire Nation, from the sky. Yeah, you bunch of cucks. Those we're not talking about the Avatar Last Airbender, a different Avatar. Well, you got the fucking in Blue the guys. in the Earth Kingdom with the flying rocks or whatever, right? Yeah. And they well, fucking fly those over are, those to the, are the Water Kingdom. People. With it's different. They're forest people. Into the water king, in, into the water tribe. No, those are the it's sea. It's a tribe. Those are the sea people. See? You're, you're sea getting, tribe? You're getting it messed up. God, I can't. It's different. Different universe. Damn. Yeah, man. Protect themselves from the fucking fire people, from the sky people. But everybody whatever. beat their dick over these goddamn movies. Mm-hmm. Like they were something fucking original and something fucking different. The CGI and the effects are breathtaking. They're yeah, they're amazing. great, but the story is but just the, the same. But the storyline is bullshit. It's, mm-hmm. it's the same regurgitated dog shit. The same lead character has to fight the sky people like Dude, he did the first time. It's literally John Smith and Pocahontas. White guy infiltrates, falls in love with the uh, chief's daughter, mm-hmm. learns their ways, realizes Fucks. that the people he's working for are cucks. Mm-hmm. Goes back, tells them like, "Hey, you know they're not bad. Like you guys shouldn't be cucks. They remain cucks." And they tell him, "Hey, now you're gonna fight for us." No, the fuck he's not, because he's getting some grade A fucking Pocahontas pussy. Yeah, mm-hmm. laying it down. You know, pa- Pocahontas didn't marry John Smith. Yeah, she married John Fuller. It's another John, hey, but dude. she died at 21 from unknown causes. It seemed like pneumonia or some shit. That's what happens when you fuck around with white dudes. Yeah, don't fuck around you end with up white dudes. You pneumonia and dying. Once you go white, you go right back to wherever you came from. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn. I think that got dramatic. Damn, son. But yeah, man. Pocahontas, dude. Outer space. As cats. As cats. Space Catahontas. Cats. Catahontas? Yeah. Cat will haunt us. Cats will haunt us forever. Speaking of hauntings. More like flauntings. Did you ever, did you ever go like explore like haunted places when you were younger, shit like that? Oh yeah, we Indiana ha- was notorious for yeah, the there was shit tons of them. like abandoned buildings and shit. Yeah. There was a place like urban legends. Yeah. That's the fucking word we were thinking of on the last that one episode when we were talking about like uh, Mothman like, and shit. Yeah, and urban the skunk legends. Cave. That that's what I was trying to think of in that episode. Oh, and you couldn't come up. It all comes. Full circle, folks. Do you, you think? Were, do you think ghosts are real? One hundred percent. Do you think ghosts can like fuck with you, like cut you yeah. and touch you and shit? I, I think I, they operate by their own goddamn rules, man. Yeah. Uh, when it comes to demons and angels and paranormal shit, yeah, they operate by their own fucking rules. They can touch you, but you can't touch them. They can move shit. It just doesn't make any sense. Do you think a ghost could pleasure you? Yes. Sexually? Probably. 
Would you fuck if you fucked a male ghost? You know, every time you yawn, a ghost puts his penis in your mouth. Oh shit! Every time you yawn, it's scientifically <laughs> proven. I have nothing to back this up other than the fact that <sighs> science said so. But then, when you shut your mouth, your chopping hits the ghostly dick. No, it's it's off. still in there. It's it goes through. Yeah, it goes through your lips. Um, if you um get a blowjob from a ghost, but he's male, does that make you gay? Um. I don't know, man. That that's a gray area because I mean, technically, he's not alive. Technically, so. they're dead. So mm-hmm. I mean, it's necro necrophilia. I don't think it is because you're not fucking the dead body. No, you're fucking the soul, which I mean is even more perverse. I love fucking souls. Oh God! <laughs> Can't get enough fucking souls. Anyway, you're on a tear. Do for sure. Tearing and through them souls. Oh. Through them. Oh. Get that ectoplasm, oh, boy. God, dude, you imagine the pus. Ugh. Anyway, sorry, ghosts. Didn't yeah, mean to but offend. I mean, if you're fucking ghosts, that's a that's a whole nother episode of Supernatural. Fuck yeah, dude. So anyway, there was a you're haunted like Sam and Dean's cousin who comes in and you fuck the ghost to death. Mm. That's how you get rid of them. You have to fuck them to death that's, again. That's your way of getting it done. And Sam and Dean, like, you come on like one episode of Supernatural, and mm-hmm. they're like. Oh shit! Yeah, this is our cousin Mike. He's from Kentucky. And He's from Kentucky. He's gonna he, fuck he, these. He hunts ghosts. He's and gonna fuck these ghouls. Turns out you. That's how you do it. They mm-hmm. didn't know that. That's how you did. I it. Ends up my pants and my dick is like glowing. They're like, oh yeah. my god! It's just like the it's holy like a, grail of like paranormal weapons. Yeah. You put it inside ghosts and they're just obliterated. So if my superpower is say, I can point at somebody and make them shit their pants, you think I can make a ghost shit their pants? Like, I see the ghost coming at me. And it's, like, trying to kill me or something. It's like... That depends. And it just shits it, its ectoplasm I mean, farts and ghosts, shit. Do you ghosts wear pants? Do you ghosts shit? True. Do you ghosts mean, pee? Do you ghosts... These are questions that need to fucking be answered. Do I mean, ghosts jack off while they're watching you have sex? If I were a ghost, yes. I mean, there's some hot couples out there. Mm-hmm. I was just floating around all of a sudden. Yeah, man, people you're bobbing banging, like, town to town. You have no concept of day and night anymore. I mean, there's no reason. So, you, I mean, you might be bebopping through houses in the middle of the night thinking it's the middle of the day. Bam. And you mosey through and you see this hot young couple getting after it. And you're like, couple lesbians you know fucking scissoring or Let whatever. Let me get my ghost penis out. You know? And then you, you know, you're a ghost. You join in. They, they wouldn't even know. Mm-hmm. Do you think uh, ghosts can see each other? I mean, how else would they have a conversation? I don't think they do. Maybe they're just make ghosts, they, talk ghosts to can't each see other, other ghosts because they don't have eyeballs. But how like how would they see us? No, like I feel like ghosts would definitely be able to see each other. Why? Because they're made out of the same stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's like two Oreos. I mean, if Oreos had eyes, I feel like they'd be able to see each other. You think ghosts can interact and like one type of ghost is scarier than another type of ghost? Probably. You think it's kind of like morph? the demon hierarchy. Like they're like sub demons and like dawn demons. You think as a ghost you could train yourself to be a stronger ghost? I don't think it's like a uh, saying. I don't think... That like they I can have suck like up other ghosts. I wonder if I could absorb other ghosts to become more powerful. I think they... Depending on the person, because, mm-hmm. you know, ghosts are human souls. I think depending on the person, the malevolent, mm-hmm. like, level of their character, sure, there could be a more malicious ghost than another. Like, take, for instance, like, I don't know, Mary Poppins' ghost oh versus Hitler's ghost. Which one's, which one's... Mary Poppins. Which one's going to be more Mary evil? Poppins. She's a demon. She's, yeah. Okay, Hitler's just Uncle a regular Rogers. ass dude on speed. Mr. Roger. Ooh, Mr. Rogers. Like he was his, also a demon. You think he was? Fuck yeah. Dude. Oh, damn. He was too nice. I could see it. Far too nice. Like he could have been a nice demon. You know how there's like. What do you like, think mm-hmm. about demons? Do you think demons are real? Nah, man. I don't think any of that shit's real. You're crazy. I've never, never experienced it. I've had people around me say it, but I've been to plenty of haunted places and nothing's really ever happened. But you don't believe in any of that stuff? Not really, no. Damn. I feel like it's all been cooked up. To to scare us. 
you had an experience. Yeah, I, I will say, like, I'm skewed because, you know, I've, I've had some experiences, not only myself, but family members. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's a little slanted. Um, yeah, I had uh, reoccurring dreams uh, for, like, four months in a row. And, man, I was ready to put a drill bit in my temple. Yeah. It was exhausting, to say the least. Um, my brother was living with me at the time. Yeah. And I ended up moving into a new apartment, thinking that a change of scenery would help. Nope. I, I stopped having them for like a week, and then they came back, and they were worse. Damn. It was in the apartment. It was outside my apartment, and like, yeah. Then it was outside my bedroom. Like, it just progressively got worse until I, you know, didn't see it anymore. So. Damn, that's scary. I've never had an experience like that, so I've never... Well, and, you know, when I was in high school... A separate incident with my mother. Um, apparently, she had been having uh, night terrors, mm-hmm. and you know I didn't know any of this was going on until one day this priest showed up at our house and started anointing the corners of our property, and then burning sage in our house and doing all this like Latin shit. I'm like freaked the fuck. There's hocus pocus type yeah, stuff. Yeah, because like I mean, I said I was raised in the church and like my family is very devout and very Mm -hmm. religious and you know they believe in the spiritual realm and all that shit and so i'm like what the fuck is going on not having any context of why this guy is here yeah so my mom finally breaks it down for me i guess she'd been having these night terrors waking up you know paralytic almost and staring up at the ceiling my brother had come in on a couple occasions and found her in this state and was just, like, holding her, and, like, he freaked the fuck out. He didn't know what the fuck's going on. And so she would have this shit, and then he'd come did that, and she was fine for, like, a month, month and a half. Nothing went on. And then one night I'm laying in bed. My, so, like, you have my mom's bedroom door mm-hmm. and my bedroom door. They come to, like, a corner at the yeah. end of a hallway. Um, and so... Our beds were, you know, relatively close in proximity. In proximity, like house. through a wall, though. Yeah. You know, there's a wall dividing the rooms, but yes. if you and had them her, set out. Her bed was right there by her door. Mine was basically right by my door. So mm-hmm. we probably had 15 feet between. But I'm sleeping, and all of a sudden, you know, a month, month and a half has gone by since that priest came by. And all of a sudden, I just remember hearing this slight voice and i didn't understand what it was saying Mm -hmm. it was just whispering and i'm just looking around the room like the fuck's going on like where is this coming from and Mm -hmm. i can't i can't distinguish where it's coming from it doesn't seem like it's coming from like a certain specific spot Mm -hmm. and so i'm just laying there stiff as a board trying not to move but literally just looking my eyes all around the room trying to figure out what the fuck it's saying where it's coming from and just gazing around your yeah room. and i'm Pitch fucking black. terrified mm-hmm. i'm fucking losing it man because my mom you know this guy just came to our house and did this shit now i'm freaked the fuck out now it's that, free. like yeah something's fucking going on i'm about to die in some paranormal activity shit yep so you know i'm it felt like an hour went by that i kept hearing this voice and i'm stuck just tense the fuck up mm-hmm. looking around the room trying to figure this out it obviously wasn't an hour but it yeah. felt like a goddamn eternity finally i literally just went mom no louder than that mm-hmm. this woman was at the side of my bed on her knees holding my hand yelling at whatever was in my house to get oh, the wow. fuck out was just immediately went to prayer, you know, grabbing her crucifix, fucking screaming at what? Because I I don't I don't know how she knew, but in maybe that she moment, could hear it too, and she was freaking out. So then, as I got older, these movies came out about demonic transference. How if a demon can't get to the person it's trying to get to, it'll attack those around it mm. to weaken its mental state to eventually just succumb to it. So, started looking into that when I had my experience with, you know, not being able to sleep. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, maybe. So, I asked my mom, like, hey, what was it that you had seen, Mm -hmm. you know? 
turned out what we had seen in my dream and what she had seen were nowhere near the same. And so it was like, okay, well, clearly what was bothering you didn't come after me. It was something else. Or maybe it just looks different to different people. Maybe. Maybe that. Maybe that's Too much of it, a coincidence for it to be in the same fucking house. Yeah. And it just changed forms. Yeah. The form it took probably scared your mom the most, and the form it took probably scared you the most. Yeah, because the one I kept seeing in my dream, it was massive, man. It was probably nine feet tall, mm -hmm. um, knees bent backwards, and its arms were about all the way down. Like, its fingertips were at its ankles. Damn, the rake. Dude, long fingers. You ever I mean, heard of the rake? Mm -mm. That's the description of the rake? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Terrifying. Just creature. in the corner of your room, just looking at you? Yeah, man. It Literally, that's all it did in the mm -hmm. dream. Like, it would literally stand over me while I'm sleeping in a chair, and my brother would always wake me up, and he literally just whisper, run. Yeah. And I, you know, this thing would chase after my brother, and it would dive at him, and the dream would end. And, like, dude, it was fucked. For three or four months, I had this same dream every night. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Demons, man. Don't I mean, his them. knees didn't go backwards, but really long fingers. He'll stand in the corner and just watch you and shit. Damn, that's fucking menacing. Yeah, there's a bunch of different images of it. See, this guy was all black and, like, Make his sure head like was sunk into his body. Like, he didn't Damn. have a neck. Oh, this guy's different then. It was just, like, rested on his shoulders. Like, his, his like, yeah. It was fucked, man. The Rake is a Monster, an online horror fiction genre creepypasta, is depicted as an unusually tall, hairless, pale humanoid creature who generally crouches or crawls on all fours. Yeah, this thing ran on all fours. Yeah. Sometimes cre you know, creepypastas are just submitted by people, but it could be based in something. The inspiration could have come from wherever. Right. But yeah, man, uh, I'm a firm believer in that in that realm. Uh, the the dark and light spirits do exist, and they do operate by their own laws, their own. Have you ever physics. seen a light spirit? Like you've seen demons? No, I I don't think I may have at some point in my mm -hmm. lifetime. I think some of us probably have. Uh, there's. I, when I when all this happened to me, the, the reoccurring dreams, I looked into it, and there's uh, what's called the gift of discernment. Yeah. And they touch on it in the Bible. Um, but basically it offers uh, mortals the ability to see into that ethereal plane. Nice. Um, and so basically people that have that gift are able to detect when angels or demons are near or and like able to kind of see that energy. I got gotcha. you. If you will. I don't have that shit. I, I don't born think, with it. I don't think I do. I think I was just Maybe when you were younger it was more Maybe pronounced. I was just visited by something fucking mm -hmm. terrifying. Well, if you were visited by it but you didn't have the gift of discernment, you probably wouldn't have been able to see it. Yeah, true. You know what I'm saying? So the fact that you were able to see it, like say I was visited by a demon or something, I just but wouldn't have seen it. Really, it, it it wears you the fuck down. Um, yeah. Like, you can, you know, if if my brother were here, you know, he's all the way up in Indiana, but if you were here, he'd tell you, man, when that shit was going on, I was ready to quit. I It had me completely wore the fuck out. Mm -hmm. I, I literally could not sleep for... I was going four days at a time without sleeping, and fuck then sleeping that. in the middle of the day when I finally had a day off. I'd sleep in the middle of the day when everybody was home. If they were leaving, they had to tell me because mm -hmm. I needed to be woken up because I wasn't going to sleep in that apartment by myself. Yeah. I was fucking losing it. Because one night I will fucking have that dream and it was outside the apartment looking mm -hmm. in that back door and I'm just like, never going to sleep again. Never yeah. again in my life. And, man, yeah, I was 23. Fuck. 24, something like that, yeah. Terrifying. It gives me chills just thinking about it, man, because... Yeah, I was fucking losing it. Shit, man. I've never had anything happen like that. But, yeah, I, I get the skepticism of it, though. Mm -hmm. Like, because if you've never experienced something like this, it's hard to fathom. It's hard to understand because 
I could picture what it would be like, but I've never yeah. really experienced it. And, and I just thought it was all folk I don't, tale. I don't. I can't validate the fact that any of this even happened, other mm-hmm. than me telling this story. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I can, my brother and them were there, but they didn't live it like I did. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it. I get where every, everyone's skepticism may come from. You know what I mean? But when you're in so your that, brother never saw it. Oh no. No. Oh, so he no. probably didn't have the gift of discernment. <laughs> I, I, I'm Giftless. just saying that it is something that that is touched on in the Bible, and it is something that some people are are given, um, quote unquote. You know. mm-hmm. But Bullshit. that'd be fucking gnarly. Can you imagine, like, if that were your superpower, you're just able to see like angels and demons? That'd be fucked because you'd like, just be in an insane asylum. People would be like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" That'd be a cool TV show, like. This, like, kid out of nowhere, like, in high school, just, he starts seeing demons, and he starts freaking out, and he's like, what the fuck's going on? And then he comes across some old shaman who teaches him, like, oh, you have the gift, blah, 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 and, like, it's, it's like Bulletproof Monk. Nice. Where, you know what I mean? He comes Remember that movie? That's a solid movie. But he, he has to start killing off all the demons. It's Mm -hmm. his turn to take over for a thousand years or whatever, and... He literally just goes around snapping demon necks. Nice. 24-7. Fucking demon necks. Yeah, dude. Demons trying to raise their little demon families and whatnot. He just comes out of nowhere, starts punting demon babies and shit, snapping their necks. Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck those kids. Angels are laughing and shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> angels, angels are all are, frat boys and angels shit. Angels are putting money on it. Yeah. They're playing dice up there like, oh, uh, shit. <laughs> they're eating demon flesh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They got demon mutton and whatnot. The demon wings. The demon wings. They're, they're dipping them in like angel sauce. <laughs> Mango habanero wings. Yeah. The real demons are the angels. Dude, and, speaking of, uh, yeah. did, there's a movie Devil Conspiracy. Have yeah. you seen it yet? No. You need to watch it. It's fucking dope. Is it? What's it about? Uh, the fight between the archangel and Michael. Oh, yeah, me. And, yeah, and uh, Lucifer. He beats the shell of Lucifer. He and then banishes him. Yeah. yeah uh, God didn't put him in, in hell. Fucking Michael did. Michael did. Yeah. Michael bitch slapped that motherfucker. Yo. Nobody can be more beautiful than me. Get the fuck to hell. <laughs> Jesus, Michael. Yeah. Fucking is what it is. It Michael is means is. he who is like God. And I'm also a Leo. So, got it all. Says a lot. There's a lot of fucking arrogance in that in that statement. Oh, um, so you asked when we first started the podcast if I knew if I went to any haunted places. And yeah. there was a... Um, everybody has their haunted place. Like, this was a cemetery, a really small, old cemetery near Bremen, Indiana. It was called uh, Little Egypt. Bremen. Yeah, little Egypt, north. yes. Yep. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, now. Little Egypt. And you know, they have a little covered bridge and yeah. it's like one of those gravity bridges where if you go on it it'll you'll just go up and it was uh i mean we camped out there one night and i guess it was spooky you know but nothing really happened people around yeah. me th- were freaking out thinking stuff was happening but i never i never succumbed to I'm anything a more skeptical of like the ghost like mm-hmm paranormal stuff than I am like dark entities there's plenty like, of stuff to be skeptical about because a lot of these like ghost hunters and shit is fake yeah like you you remember the what, ghost dudes or whatever paranormal dudes paranormal dudes we, we were gonna start a uh, paranormal oh, yeah. TV series paranormal dudes paranormal dudes we're just running around like some a cat will knock something off. Like, oh my god! <laughs> just instantly piss my shit. pants. Shit! Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, half the ah. episode would be us just shit in our pants, like freaking the fuck <laughs> out. Having screaming. to change like thirteen <sighs> times in the car. We, we got all our pants and shit just lined out yeah. for every time we shit our pants. <laughs> a raccoon would pop out of nowhere. Like, fuck! Shit! It's a fucking ghost. Did you hear it? Did you hear it scurry? That somebody, baby ghost. Somebody farts and you're just like, oh, shit, Jesus Christ. <sighs> You walk around a corner, fucking slap you. Like, it's a ghost. <laughs> I ran out. F- set the place on fire with you in it. <laughs> it's got to be burned. You're like, it'll be. And I'm like, you'll be one with the spirits. <laughs> As I'm shitting my pants, <laughs> which ignites the fuel. It's my shit's fucking fire. <laughs> You've been for drinking gasoline. <laughs> I've Jesus been building up that Christ. tolerance. <laughs> yeah. A gas so tolerance. You so you don't burn up. Yes, yeah, so I don't get poisoned by Jesus. gasoline. Yeah, that would be that would have been fun. Fucking, we got plenty of goofy shows, show yeah, ideas. 
The white trash genie. White trash genie. That's yeah, you would be the white trash genie. You, you throw out a can of Bud Light or Bush Light and you rub it or whatever and fucking white trash genie pops All out sudden, and there's yeah. 88 Trans Am, a bunch of beers Just and shit, rusted. My dick. Yeah, I'm baiting here. I'm baiting here. <laughs> fuck off. The fuck you want? And every every wish would just be some bullshit. Like it would be trailer turned into some sort of trailer trash type scenario. Oh, speaking of fucking white trash genie, we were talking about this earlier about genies. Oh, nice. Yeah. So we were talking earlier about genies and it's the always, wish rules. Yeah, the wish rules. So the rules are you can't ever wish for more wishes. Okay? Yeah, that's one loophole, of the loophole. Ma- major. We fig- I think we figured out a loophole earlier. Yeah, you did. If you wish for the power, the power to grant wishes. Mm-hmm. So if me and Mike found a lamp and there's a genie, and I rubbed it, and he came out and said, "Hey, you have three wishes." Yeah, I could wish for the ability to grant, grant wishes. wishes. Yeah, and I think that's. I legal. would not be a genie. Mm. I wouldn't be bound by a lamp or any other bullshit rules. Yeah. I'd still be a human. I just have the ability to grant wishes. Yeah. So there, you'd probably have to use all three wishes on Mike, that one wish. Yeah. Probably. Then I would come to you and wish for the same thing. Mike could come to me and be like, "Hey, I want to be able to grant wishes." And then we're just granting Boom. wishes and back then we're and forth. Just, yeah. You want a million dollars? Boom. I want a million dollars. Ten billion dollars. Boom. Fucking instant, instant, endless wishes. And for all of time, we're just back and forth wishes. Yeah, because you can just wish for shit that I need, and Mm -hmm. I can wish for shit you need. What if the wishes don't come from, like, the either? They just come, they come from somebody. So if you were to wish for a billion dollars, it robs it from a bank. That's awesome. And like I wish for, I wish for an elephant, a white elephant. I get one, and then you wish for a white elephant because you want. And then I take it, it. takes mine. I'm like, what the fuck did you do that for? I want. And it. I wish it back. I wish for it. I'm like I wish for your death, and then oh, you, <laughs> and then you try to sh- kill me. It doesn't work. And then I wish for daggers. <laughs> you can't wish for something that would kill the guy granting the wish. Oh, because then it wouldn't come true. It wouldn't come true. Because by the time it killed you, you'd be dead, and that grant, that wish yeah. wouldn't be fulfilled. Wouldn't oh, that be fucking? A loophole. But that's a loophole, man. It it works. It because works. You're not you're not asking for more wishes. You're asking for the ability to grant other people's wishes. And if there's any genies out there, let us know if we're wrong. Yeah, and give if, us your if you're contact an expert information. On genies, let us know. We'll interview you right now. No, you're not. Podcast. Nobody's an expert on on genies. We there want legitimate be. genies to call in. Or, I mean, yeah, or genies in call the comments, in. and then give us your info so we can, you know. But if you're an expert on genies and where to find them, also. Call. Also, if you're an expert on where to find genies, um, let us know. And ghost demons. Because I found a loophole, and I think it is. I think work. it is pretty, pretty sound. I think it's solid. Think right? We'll it. Yeah, I'm, I'm down. So, because then, dude, we can just grant endless wishes. Endless fucking you'd wishes. Be, you'd be a god. I would be. I'd. Oh, could you wish to be god? I don't think. Or to I, be a I god? I don't think you can. A I Cthulhu. Mean, at, at that point, with the ability to grant wishes, you are. I mean, you can bend reality. I mean. Oh yeah, that'd be great. It'd be like fairly odd parents, but we'd both be fairies <laughs> prancing yeah, around and shit. <laughs> I would definitely be prancing. Hell yeah, boy, prancing around. If I have around. the ability to grant wishes, yeah, I'm gonna prance. We found a loophole, and y'all need to acknowledge us with fucking money. What, what do you? What would you wish for right now? If you had three wishes, I'm the wish fucking genie, right? Um, Bam. I would wish for three um, wishes. Hundred right, million dollars. Hundred million, okay. Hundred million, uh, that that be that be good financially. Um, and then taxes get taken out. No taxes. Oh, nope. you already w- you already wasted the wish. Gotta think about these things. Fuck it's not tax deductible, fuck man. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. So yeah, we, you're the worst. So you got fifty. Ever. You got fifty million. <laughs> eat a bag of dicks. I get a hundred. Before million we pay taxes, man. Where do you think cash. I get this from? I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> Hundred million on the table, genie, or everybody in here dies. Yeah, after taxes, you're like fifty million dollars. That's bullshit. That's Eat too a much bag money. of digs. Yeah, God the rest of it, it went straight for the, straight to the DNC. You got beef? Put it on the table and let's eat, motherfucker. I'm telling you right now, I ain't fucking taxes been taken. You ain't shortchanging me. My, my fucking hands are tied, man. I'm making the wishes here. We donated the, you the rest the of the results. taxes to the DNC. You know, give it straight to fuck them. <laughs> so. 
with so you get my 58 million. 100 million dollars. You know, tax has been taken out. Man. You should have thought, thought said tax free. You should have thought about this right hook. Pow. I'm not thinking about it. It's too late. 58 million is what you got. God damn it, dude. <laughs> so anyway, second wish would be to own a sports team, professional. Ooh, how professional? MLS. Na- you have to name the team because I'm just going to give you some like Olympic bobsled team. Uh, the Memphis Grizzlies. I got you. Got it. You got it. Boom. Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah. Bam. But it cost you fifty eight million dollars. Eat a bag of fucking horse shit. Because you have dicks. to. You have to cure their taxes as well. No. Yeah, you're it's not bro. How this works. This you suck at wishes. <laughs> you suck at granting wishes. You're a dog shit genie. You have a team now. I just not, can't maintain okay, it. When I find a genie and I wish to be able to grant wishes, it's good testing. It's gonna be. Can I? Can I have the ability to grant wishes for everyone except for my kid? Oh my god! Why would you even do that within to me? his lineage? And anyone in his bloodline. Yeah, his whole bloodline's fucked. They'll never be able to make a wish ever. Oh my god, sounds like life, honestly. Well, maybe you should have thought about that when we're taking taxes out of your wish. Taxed my goddamn wish money. Yeah, and the Grizzlies owed a bunch of back taxes too. So that's yeah. not on me, dude. That's it's John. A, you Rand. assume the he, ranks. He's waving guns ownership. everywhere he goes. Mm-hmm. Kid needs to keep it in his pants. Sorry, man. It's not my fault. You have he's one wish. Up. You have one, li- you have one wish left, out, left over. My final wish is for a new genie. <laughs> yeah, you just like self-implode. You're no, I just turn it. I turn. I make a badge that says I am the manager. <laughs> oh, eat it oh, guess what? I am the fucking manager, Karen. Shit. I hate you. God. Better wish for a uh, hundred fucking million dollars tax free. <laughs> Get that money back. I am going to hunt you down. And put you back into the bottle that you came out of <laughs> and shove it up some fat guy's ass. Dude, all you have to do is fucking, all you have to do is make your third wish and I'll be back in my genie bottle. I made my third wish for a new genie. Is that the, I can't do that. I'm the manager. I'm the only genie. Well, looks like you're going to I don't see any other fucking here. genies, do you? You're stuck here for a fucking while, guy. Please kill me. I'm like a Meeseeks. Kill me! All right, whatever. You got your $100 million and your Grizzlies, whatever. That's right. What's your third fucking wish, Fag? My wish is for an endless supply of Heineken. Heineken. Heineken, sponsor us. Give us free beer. Sorry, hungry kids. You're not getting fed. (laughs) That's not... (laughs) Just just give us beer. Give us beer, yeah. I think that's all the time we have for today. Yeah. Kale. I'll wrestle dinosaurs next episode. Next episode, Kale hunts dinosaurs, but only the baby ones, the cutest ones. Only the baby ones, ones, the cuter, the deadlier. Yep. Thank you for tuning in to Lava Slug Podcast. Like, follow, share. Yeah, thanks. Um, Do that shit. Yeah, thanks all all two people watching us. Thanks, Kale. For tuning yeah. in. Thanks, uh, Amber, maybe. Thanks, uh, CJ, if you're watching. Yes. Yeah, here's, here's to you. Fuck you, dude. But thank you for the support. Yeah. Like and subscribe. Keep it out your butt. Keep it out your butt. Later, losers.